welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography. Yesterday Skylum released a new update for Luminar AI so we are just going to go quickly through what that update contains. So uh, it's uh, version 1.5.2 and remember we are talking about Luminar AI now and not uh, Luminar Neo. So hi Luminar insiders despite everything we continue working for you from a war zone today we are proud to present a new luminar ai update and of course skylum is a company based in ukraine and i'm sure you know what's going on in ukraine right now so it's uh, really awesome that they are putting out updates for both neo and uh, ai despite everything going on in ukraine and i actually think they are based in kiev but i'm not entirely sure and now skylum also released a new lot pack yesterday so lots are basically kind of an overlay that you can apply to your photos uh, which will uh, change it depending on what kind of <laughs> settings were added to the LUT file. We will go through just a couple of those LUT files really quickly. Uh, and I think that pack costs about $29. So now Luminar AI supports new cameras, including, and we have this list. So hopefully if you've been missing support for your camera it's part of this list and it's especially dji mavic 3 and fuji film and the sony cameras there i'm sure a lot of people are using those cameras so i'm sure you're pretty happy about this on top of that you can smoothly open tiff files and that's really great because i tried opening tiff files in luminar ai and it's been quite a headache to be honest so really awesome that uh, skylum are able to push out the updates and now let's go and take a look at the lot files they just released so let's go out of this one and here are the lot files that uh, skylum just released and you can clearly see what each of those lot files are doing to the image here and uh, some of them actually looks really great so let's jump into luminar ai and have a look to use lot files inside luminar ai you need to go down to mood so down on the mood you can go through the list after you add them to luminar ai i will show you how to do that after you add them to luminar ai you will find those files under the land of freedom lots and i especially like the cube lot and you can clearly see what that lot does for this image it makes it a bit more mystic and i really like that for this image it's a really good uh, LUT file for it. So again, this is without the LUT file. It looks uh, okay, but this is with the LUT file and I think it actually does a good job. And uh, for example, Odessa, let's have a look at that. It didn't change too much. Let's go for Sumi. And you can see that Sumi lot makes it a bit more muted. So it should be clear that <laughs> the lot files are changing the image. Now, some of these lot files might be better for buildings, some might be better for uh, landscapes, uh, some might be better for portraits. So <laughs> not every lot in this list is developed for uh woodlands of course so you can use them and they might look look better in other kind of compositions all right uh i will post the link for the lot files in the description of this video and if you want to buy them hit that link and that is a affiliate link and that will just give me a small amount of money 
if you want to buy or try Luminar AI or Luminar Neo, make sure to hit the link in the description. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And you, if you want to watch more from me, hit that uh, subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again. Goodbye.